Global Misbusters, Adam Savage, and Jamie Heine. Between them, more than 30 years of special effects experience. Together with Tori and Graham, they don't just tell the men, they test it. Now, Jamie, for a minute this week, you remember she played with water guns as a kid? Uh, no, Adam, I never had a childhood, remember? Yeah, well, this week, we're gonna try and make this right here lethal. Well, Adam, you, uh, you had me at lethal. Me, I have our standard water gun. So let's take a look. Typical water gun, you got your pumping mechanism here. This is slowly gonna build pressure in this fluid capacitance tank. Then, through some kind of triggering mechanism, that pressure will be converted through the nozzle and become our exit velocity. Now, hopefully we'll see if we can make some tweaks, have some fun, and, and hopefully make this thing lethal. <laughs> So for this myth, we'll be using Bernoulli's equation in order to determine the pressure needed to make a lethal water gun. Bernoulli is, of course, famous for his Italian pasta. Yeah, that's spaghetti. Delicious. Using Bernoulli's equation, we find our initial pressure to be 1.7 times 10 to the 7 pascals. Multiply this by the surface area of the tank, 0.24 meters squared, and we get the force in newtons, dividing by 9.8 the force in kilograms, multiplying by 2.2 the force in pounds. 916,000 pounds is the same as dropping a Boeing 747 on our water gun. I'm here with a realistic test dummy buster, uh, covered head to toe in live, uh, quick feedback pressure sensors. So we'll know when we hit him with some water, if it hurts, how bad it hurts, if we're going to get anywhere near the pallet. So we can do just a little tap, big tap, to see what really happens. Oh, I'm a real person. Put the, put the mask back on, intern. Let's get to the test. Lethal water gun, test one. Headshot. So, we just finished our first test, and if you look right here, there's a little bit of spots from where, you know, some general wetness and some, some general pressure, but, you know, looks like he's okay. Let's try to make sure those sensors are still working. All right? Ow. Still working? Okay. I think they're all in check, so I think we're ready for test two. All right, here comes test two of our lethal water gun. Kill test trophy. Alrighty, so test one, test two, no lethality yet. But for a third and final test, we've come up with a water gun that I think is going to really do some damage. Alright, one, two, three. So we flew across the country to visit Georgia Institute of Technology where they have what some consider to be a real life lethal water gun. And here we have a Georgia Tech ULI, and we have some questions for you. So, what is the most impressive thing that you've seen cut through? Our water jets can cut through 8 inches of steel. And what pressure can they exert onto the material? The exit pressure of the nozzle is about 20,000 PSI. Right. And can I murder someone with this? For sure. Lethal. Although this could definitely kill a person, this does not fall into our definition of a water gun. Uh, well, we just got done testing our lethal water gun. Adam, how are we going to call this one? Jamie, I think we're going to have to call it busted. I mean, I was really excited to try and super duper this super soaker up to the point that it can actually you know, be a lethal water gun, but the only lethal water stream we could find was at the, uh, the Adventure Studio at Georgia Tech with their water jet. And there's no way you could pick up that machine, put it on your back to make it a personal water gun. So by our definition of water gun and by our definition of lethal, I don't think it can happen. Yeah, I was really disappointed with this one. I'm, I'm going to have to call it busted myself as well, along with my mustache. Well, maybe we'll find something to shoot bust with next week, all right?